Hey everybody, my name is Angela Godman. I am reporting from West Tech, and my guest today is Michelle Lanou. She is the CEO and co-founder of Headworks International. Michelle, thank you for joining me today. Oh, it's my pleasure, Angela. It's good to be with you here. Yeah, it sure yeah. is. And I just, I love going around and seeing all the great equipment you have here in your booth, but um, you know, it started off very simply, didn't it, about it, 30 years ago? Yeah, it was 30 years ago yeah, that we started that. with one screen and we, saw this, I saw this at a trade show, uh -huh. and we ended up buying this technology and starting building a market here in the United States and then in Mexico and Canada, and now the company has a whole plethora of different kinds of screens, and we're in 43 countries. Wow, that's so, amazing. Yeah, in so only 30 years. In only 30, I really, it's a relatively short time when you when you think about it, yes. right? especially in the business world. but. Um, I wonder why why is wastewater to begin with? Why why did that even spark an interest? What made you want to turn this into a booming business? Well, I came out of the oil and gas business mm -hmm. and I wanted to do something that I felt was going to help our environment yeah. and was also something tangible. So I think these big babies are are really fun. Uh, people refer to them as sexy and yeah. I think that's kind of right. Yeah. Uh, we were really at a changer in the industry. When we came in, we made them all out of 100% stainless steel. We had an automated reversing function. We had uh, tapered bars that reduced head loss mm -hmm. for the operators. And the operators loved it because they weren't spending all their time going down into a channel and taking obstructions out. Yeah. So it really, really forced the industry, industry to look differently it's at really state of the art. Yes. You were yes. really pushing the envelope for the for that kind of technology. We were, and so we, when we expanded into the biological process side of things, we were looking for technologies that would do the same thing for operators, mm -hmm. that it would make their life easier and it would give them efficiencies. So I know you're gonna be talking with Afnan Din about that and he can explain what we've been doing in many different parts of the world. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And but always pushing the envelope. And like yeah. you said, you know, going yeah. into the biological processes. What do you think is next, Michelle? When you look out maybe five years down the road, where do you see Headworks going? Well, right now we're talking about the, high, the you know, excitement around hydrogen. Mm -hmm. And hydrogen, you need water. Mm -hmm. Water is very scarce and precious, and we shouldn't be using our clean water resources for anything that isn't absolutely crucial right and so if we take our dirty water our used water and make it clean enough to split it into hydrogen mm -hmm. then we're doing a big service for both energy and for water so wow. that's what we're looking at next that's amazing really tackling that water energy yeah. nexus that it's, we all hear about so much yeah we're very excited yeah. so yeah so next up i think we're going to learn a little bit more about your screens we're right. going to be talking to gerald seidel and we're gonna hear all about some of the great technology that you guys have in store. I am now here with Gerald Seidel. He is the Senior Vice President and the Co-Founder of Headwork International. Gerald, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks. Well, Appreciate well. it. Yeah, we were just chatting with Michelle a little bit about the history of Headworks and how you guys came to be. And I understand that your mechanical screen was the very beginning. It was the first thing that you released into the world and it's gone through some evolution since then. Can you talk so. about some of the features that, that you guys have? Yeah, we started this over 30 years ago, and uh, we started with the bar screen. We introduced actually a modern version of a multi-rig screen, which is sort of the standard in most parts of the world for medium to larger sized plants. Mm -hmm. We introduced an old stainless product as a standard. We introduced tapered bars as a standard for reducing the problem of broken teeth. We introduced the electronic reversing and self-cleaning feature, avoiding shear pins, which was in the past uh, Terrible. So what we made the place of a headworks or the, or the, the inlet works of a screen link system or a plant, which was often seen as the most horrible part, to right. a, a very part which people can live with and don't see it as, as a nightmare to go there and work. Right. Uh, out of that flavor, we developed a, a smaller version for smaller channels, mm -hmm. and behind us is a, what we call the MS3, and even smaller for very small. Uh, flow sizes. We we developed now screens down to two millimeter openings. If we need catch a lot, and then for uh, for for protecting more sensitive biological systems. And obviously, we have then the more speciality type of screens like a band screen for protecting membranes or perforated blade screens. 
and then the conveyor compactors being shafted or shaftless as needed to convey the material come back be clean from from organic matters as well and is put disposal. That's great. So you've really over the years incorporated a lot of features that make it up so much easier on operators, right? Reducing maintenance and downtime and all of those things that can cause an issue at a plant. So. At the end, it was always like a single company was always thinking, I'll make life for the operator of the plant easier. Yeah. And I think that was at the end, the, why we're standing here 30 years later, very successful because people like it and we introduce something that they can live with. Yeah. And we see a lot in the company where we we get a, uh, screens to retrofit from coarser openings to finer because it's a beginning. People were scared to go very fine. They said, well, it doesn't work. They were not used to that. Today they realize that we do it and we both now have factory screens 20 years old, 15, 20 years, which we retrofit and upgrade yep. for the clients. That's fantastic. So what do you think is next in the world of screens? Is there some evolution that you could see maybe over the next five years or so coming to market? I think partly it goes obviously to find the screenings, much led by the trend also you have more sensitive biological processes so that they cannot handle a lot of fiber, etc. So this is where we for sure see a, a, a trend in the big scheme that the screenings gets finer. We, we have even, we used the 316 opening or four millimeter a lot. We did testing years ago, actually here in the Chicago area to, to get baby all, basically all the baby wipes out of the big problem now with contaminating the aeration system. So again, we prove it's super easy to do that. Mm -hmm. You don't need to uh, have complicated grinders or whatever, which at the end doesn't really remove it, just makes it a different problem. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a very simple product. And, and that's a, a rigid product and that's actually the real success yeah that's the beauty of, of it right? right yeah fantastic well you mentioned the biological processes and i think in a moment we're going to be speaking with afnan din in more detail about your biological Correct. processes he but will, he's the, the master of this image he is the master so we're going to go chat with afnan gerald thank you so much for joining me today thank i appreciate you. it thank you I am now catching up with Afnan Din. He oversees the Headworks Bio division. Afnan, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. So we've been hearing a lot about Headworks and the evolution of the company. And about 20 years ago or so, Talks. the Headworks Bio division was established. Can you talk to us a little bit about, you know, the changes that it's gone through, the evolution from when it was created until today? I certainly can do. Headworks Bio started approximately 20 years ago. And we really started with a focus on biofilm technologies. And biofilm technologies has been the core business which we've stuck to over the years. And we started with MBBR and IFAS um, systems, the aerobic biofilm processes. And over the years, we've really developed it by innovating and bringing in anaerobic MBBR as well as Anamox. And our latest technologies are really focused on key drivers and challenges in the water industry. It mainly focuses on low carbon footprint solutions, um, energy saving solutions, and overall small footprint solutions. Excellent. So it's, it's an exciting time for us. Right, all really big issues that folks in the water industry are trying to address, right? Absolutely. So now I understand that you have a process that can be tailored to specific applications. Can you talk to us about sort of how this, how does it work? Certainly can do. So in essence, what we're using is we're using carriers in all our technologies. Mm -hmm. And we're really experts in biofilm technologies and biofilm processes. And aerobic MBBR is used for new builds, for industrial, for municipal plants, for retrofits. Um, a lot of our work is in retrofits where we're looking to increase capacity of existing plants or improve final effluent quality. And we have over 130 installations worldwide. Our new innovative technologies, such as the anaerobic MBBR, is really focused on industrial effluent treatment. It's a real game changer because although anaerobic treatment has been around for a long time, what we're doing in anaerobic treatment is bringing biofilm technology to it. That brings ex extreme advantages. It gives you a much smaller footprint. It gives you a robust technology and the added benefit of producing biogas. Wow, that's great. So anaerobic really is a technology which has taken off in the industrial space. So we're, we're really focused on that. And finally, the technology which is very close to my heart is the Anamox technology. Uh -huh. And Anamox technology is a side stream solution 
Again, we use our carriers. So the core theme in all our technologies is that it's carrier based, mm -hmm. but we're using different environments, different conditions to grow different biological bacteria to do treatment. And Anamox is a true game changer because it treats high centric liquors from sludge treatment. Oh, wow. And it reduces the liquors back into the main wastewater treatment plant. Oh, that's great. That's great. And that's a big challenge, right? That's a huge challenge. Yeah. Huge challenge. And an Anamox alone can save approximately up to 60% energy. That's amazing. So it's a huge driver in terms of OPEX savings. Wow. Or utilities. Now, is there a particular size of operation that these technologies are best suited for? I mean, very small plants, very large plants, or really anything in between? Yeah, I mean, the good thing is we, we've done small plants, large plants. It's really not driven by capacity. Mm -hmm. So there's no hydraulic limitations. There's no load limitations. It really, it is one size fits all. So you really wow. can use it for small or large plants. That's amazing. So what's the one thing you would want viewers to take away from this? If they're thinking about this kind of technology and wondering if it's a fit for their application, what is something that you would tell them when they're making their decision or considerations? Well, I think biofilm technologies are at the forefront of biological treatment. Mm -hmm. And we're real experts in biofilm technologies. And we've, we've developed the biofilm processes over the last 20 years. We really understand well how attached growth processes work. Mm -hmm. And I think we're, we're always being focused on a couple of key things. And that's to have easy to operate treatment plants, have treatment plants which are efficient in terms of OPEX mm -hmm. and are proven. So we have spent a lot of time, resources, um, team teamwork to develop our technologies. Right. So I think a, a lot of effort's gone into the R&D. So we, we can offer solutions which are really robust, are proven mm -hmm. with decades of experience. Absolutely, a lot of time, a lot of energy have been put into refining this process that, that you offer. And with over, it, with over 100 installations in, in more than 23 countries, I think that sort of sums it up. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Excellent. Well, Afnan, we really appreciate your time. Thank you for taking yes. us through the technology. You know, if people watching, they want to learn a little bit more about Headworks or Headworks Bio, is there a website that you would like to send them to? Absolutely. You can, you can look into our website at www.headworksintel.com. There's lots of information on there. Um, we, we like to share knowledge. To share, knowledge sharing is something we really believe in. So yeah, please go on our website, download our case studies, brochures, lots of information there, and feel free to reach out anytime. Excellent. Thanks again, Afnan. Awesome. All the best of luck to you going forward. Thank you. And thanks to all of you for watching. My name is Angela Godwin.